Let's talk about sunk cost fallacy and art. Have you ever put a ton of time into a piece only for it to start to go completely off the rails? What do you do when that happens? This piece I'm working on was actually completed in December of 2021, but I've just been sitting on the footage for a while because some other things needed higher priority. I'm glad to finally be showing you this process now though. I'm using Turner Acro Gouache on one of these Studio Papilia round wood boards that I've totally fallen in love with. I ended up restocking and now I just have like a horde of them. I'm like a little round wood board dragon. If you can't find this board, I've seen similar ones from Trekle that have like a notch in them that makes it look like it has a circular frame. And I really want to try those boards as well. This was one of those times where I didn't go in with a fully solid plan. I kind of just did one or two thumbnail sketches and that's really it. I didn't even do any color studies or anything else. And I ended up floundering for a long while and even overpainting some sections a few times because I just couldn't get them right. I based my sketch around this eye that I had once drew and I found the expression and shape of the eye particularly interesting, so I just built off of that. And I made the background this geometric swooshy pattern that honestly I thought I liked in the sketch, but the more I painted it, the worse it got. I didn't want to just bin this painting though because I really enjoyed how the face was coming out. The soft shading that I built up using layers of acrylic and the worried, doe-eyed look was so appealing to me that I kept working on the background despite not liking how it was turning out. And I had put so much time into that face that I really liked that I didn't want to scrap and redo it. Like, I could have just put the, put the canvas in the bin, redone the sketch, and figured out a different background, but god, I spent so long on the face. It's easy with a less structured and more intuitive craft such as art to put a lot of time into something without realizing that you're drifting from your initial vision. Or perhaps you forget to plan as much as you should, which I forget to do a lot and I forgot to do with this painting, and you don't actually like wherever the process took you. At this point, you have a few options. You could put the piece on temporary or indefinite hiatus, Maybe you'll have an epiphany and find out a way to get things back on track. Or maybe it's just not meant to be a finished piece and it ends up on your unfinished shelf forever or in the bin or in the sad pile in the closet. Raise your hand if you have a sad pile in the closet. You could put even more hours in to rework all of the aspects of the painting that aren't working. But this is a dangerous trap to get stuck in, and you could end up working on the same piece for months or years. Or you could finish the piece in whatever way seems easiest and call it a day. That's what I did here. In the end, the background was kind of a compromise. I settled, and while I sort of regret it, I'm glad I didn't get caught up in the sunk cost fallacy and overwork the whole painting, because I would have regretted that much more. But I finished the painting, and done is better than perfect. This is something that I think I take from my days as a game designer, because there's a mantra in game development called kill your darlings. And it's this idea that sometimes you love something so, so, so much and you want it to be perfect and you want to keep working on it until there's nothing wrong with it. But that's just not feasible. And the, f the phrase kill your darlings means you just sometimes you just have to push it out of the nest. You know, maybe it's not quite ready. Maybe it's a little bit early, but it just has to be done. I don't know if I think the, uh, the phrase kill your darlings is the best way to put it. Shove your darlings out of the nest. They need to go. But it's very much instilled in us in game development to finish whatever project you're working on because it is better for it to be done than for you to get stuck working on it forever. 
And the thing is, there's always the opportunity to try to make it, again, better. That's also, you know, kind of a popular art challenge is the draw this again challenge, so if a piece isn't working for you, maybe it's best to just tie up all the loose ends, call it a day, and maybe you'll be able- maybe you'll be inspired to try it again another time. And then maybe that second time around you'll have a better mindset going into the piece and you'll have a better idea of what went wrong the first time and what you can improve the second time around. I don't know if I'll do that with this piece. I do really like the face and I wish the background had done it justice, but I think I just need to move on. What do you do when a piece you've invested a ton of time in just isn't working out? Let me know in the comments! Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. If you like this piece and you want to adopt her, the original and prints will both be listed on my store. The link for that will be in the description. What you see here is me going in with Posca Pen to make a white underlayer for the neon paint that will go on top of it. This stuff really requires a white base underneath so that the light can reflect through the very transparent neon paint and back into your eyes to make that fluorescent effect. It also works best when it has a surrounding area of dark to contrast with. That's where you get that really bright neon pop when it contrasts with something dark next to it. The neon that I'm adding is the Dale Rowney Fluorescent Acrylic Ink. I'm obsessed with this stuff and you've seen it in plenty of other videos that I've made. And oh! I also just picked up this Lumi White acrylic wash from Turner, which I used in the hair, the eyes, and some other places. I hadn't seen a fluorescent white paint before this, and I was really excited to try it. You think I overdid it? Mm, nah, no such thing. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.